Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how you can change the print scale on your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about it, join us, and get exclusive content and course discounts. Now recently I've been getting a lot of questions about how to change the scaling when printing. For instance, instead of printing at 100%, maybe print at 110% to make things a little larger or maybe print at 50% to fit more on a page. How you scale when printing really depends on which app you're using. Some are really straightforward. For instance, here in Notes if I go to File, Print or just use Command P I could see here in the Print dialog there's Scaling. It's right in the main section here with Copies, Selection of Pages, whether to use Color and all of that. What you see in the Print dialog is always going to depend on which printer you have. So you might see something a little different than me. But in Notes you should always see Scaling and be able to select Scaling in here and set it to something a little different and you'll see the changes right here. But be careful what you set it to. For instance setting it to 200% means that the note won't fit on the page. Setting to 50% will fit it on the page but isn't going to actually regrab the text or anything. Safari works in the same way. If you go to File, Print it's really straightforward. They're scaling right here. And you could change the scale and you can see how this lets you fit more in at least vertically even though it doesn't actually expand the width of the page. And here in Mail it's the same. If I just go to File, Print or Command P I can see scaling right here and I could adjust it. But a lot of times you won't see scaling at all. For instance in Pages if you go to File, Print or Command P there's no scaling here. You can see there's nothing there and you can look through all the different sections and you won't find any option to scale it at something other than 100%. The trick in this situation is to look under the File menu for a companion to print called Page Setup. Page Setup has been there since the beginning of the Mac and it is usually used for setting things like scaling. So when printing from Pages set the scaling here in Page Setup first like that. Other apps like TextEdit work the same way. You use File, Page Setup and the keyboard shortcut is usually Shift Command P. A lot of third party apps will use this as well. You can see here in Microsoft Word there's Page Setup there which allows you to set the scaling. Not when you go to File, Print. But sometimes you don't see either option. Here in Reminders there's no Page Setup. And if I go to Print there's no option to scale. The same thing in the Calendar app. There's no Page Setup and Print has no scaling option. But there is a backup option for any app that doesn't have any scaling in the Print dialog at all. And that is to go to the PDF menu here. Click the little down arrow next to the word PDF and select Open and Preview. This essentially prints the document but sends it as a PDF to the Preview app. And once you're in the Preview app you can continue to the Print dialog with the Print button at the bottom right or by choosing File, Print. Now Preview has scaling. You won't find it here in the Main Options section but under an area called Preview. If you don't see what's there you can use the Disclosure Triangle to open this up. And then you can see Scaling or Scale to Fit. So for instance if I wanted to print this calendar at a smaller percentage I could set it here inside of Preview after printing to Preview and now you can see the results I'm going to get here. The same thing here with Reminders. I can go to File, Print and instead of using the default 100% there I can select Open and Preview. And then once I'm in here I can go to Print. But notice if I say go to 110% how it scales it and it remains centered so it's off the middle of the page. One of the things I could do here in Preview is instead of just printing what's there I could go to the Markup Tools. I can use the Selection Tool here. I can grab the area I want to print like just say this. Copy with Command C and then File, New from Clipboard. And now I've got a smaller document there. When I go to print that now I can scale that up to have a bigger list like that. It's a lot of steps but it will get it done when you have no other option. Now there are also apps that have special printing options. In Numbers if you go to File you see there's no page setup. But if you go to Print you actually have an entire Print Setup screen here where you can rescale things. So say if I want this to print and make sure it's just one page wide I can do that. Another app that has special printing options is Photos. So in Photos there's no page setup but when you go to Print 
Then you're taken to the special section here and you can choose a variety of different ways to print your photos. So I can do fit, I can do fill, I can do custom right here and then select photo sizes. I can select a specific size here. I can do a contact sheet. So there's a lot of things that I could do here to change the size of the photos that are printed. That all happens before you click the print button here at the bottom right and that takes you to the print dialog which doesn't have a scaling option there. So you have to kind of set things up in Print Setup before you get here. Another example of special printing options would be in Calendar. If you go to File Print here and you look at the options there, there's a lot. For instance, you have the text size here. I've got it set to big so that I could see this event here but I could set it to small if I needed to fit more in. Now of course a lot of times you have the option to simply change the content before you print. So here is a document in text edit and if I go to print it the text looks pretty small. One thing I can just do is select all the text and change the font size and now I can print it and everything is much bigger. If I don't want the document to actually retain that I can just do a quick Command Z for undo when I'm done printing to go back to the original size. I can do the same thing here in Pages with this list but another option that helps you fit more on a page is to change the number of columns. So if I print now you can see it's five pages with a single column in it. But if I select all the text here and then go to Format, Layout, I can change the number of columns. So I could say set it to four columns like this and when I print you can see I'm now just going to get two pages but the text is essentially the same size. So this is an example of thinking creatively before you print. And one last option I want to show you and that's to choose the number of pages per sheet. So if I go to File, Print here in Pages you can see this is going to be four pages. Now let's say I want to print up a copy of this to bring along for reference or maybe I just want to use less paper. I can scroll down to the Print Options and look for Layout. And under Layout I can do Pages per Sheet. Now watch what happens if I change to two. You can see how it's going to print two pages per sheet of paper. So now I've saved two sheets of paper. Everything's going to be smaller but maybe for this particular use that's okay. I could even go to four and now print this entire document on one sheet of paper. So this should give you a number of different options for something other than printing your document at 100% scale. And of course all of this should work for printing to a PDF as well. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.